Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 111. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 107 to 119. Hey, in this Magic Trick, we're going to see how to build a questionnaire, and we're going to see an amazing trick where we use if inside of VLOOKUP. Now, this is a questionnaire, and there's eight, nine questions, and you're supposed to answer A or B. Now what they've done is the scoring system is very convoluted so you can't um, detect any pattern and uh, answer it in a certain way to get a certain result. Here's the situation. If you put A right here, so A, um, if you put A you get a C. If you put B you get a J, right? And they've mixed it all up. The point is, is so you can't, you know, uh, trick the system and, and answer it in a way that you get the result you want, right? And then you're supposed to add up all the J's and all the C's. And then there's uh, criteria that tell you if you have so many J's, uh, what, uh, what you expect, and if you have so many C's, what to expect, all right? So let's see how to do this. Uh, we have um, our list here. There's A and B for all the answers. This is either get a J or a C. Our J's and C's are here, which we'll use later for um, adding. Uh, and we'll use our formula here that will look at the A or B. That's the VLOOKUP and the IF. But first, let's just highlight these cells and do um, data validation. So there'll be a drop down so they can select either A or B. I'm going to highlight the whole range. In 2007, you go to data data validation there. In 2003, you go to data menu and then data validation. Now, the keyboard shortcut that works in all versions is Alt-D-L. Now, do we want to allow any value? No way. Click the drop down and point to list. And now down in the source, just type capital A, comma, capital B. You could put an input message here, type something, or an error alert, right? You could say, um, stop and then A or B only, explanation point. Please use drop down to select A or B. I'm a terrible typer and can't spell, so I hope I did that right. But let's just click OK. That way, if you type a F and then hit Enter, it says uh, a or B only. Please use drop down to select A or B. You know, one thing is funny. You can put a funny message here if you want. I'm going to say uh, cancel. All right, so we have our B, our A, our B. That works. Now let's do a formula here. And what we want to do is if they answer A, we need to deliver a C to this cell. If they answer B, we need to deliver a J. Hey, this is set up like a little uh, V lookup. There's the thing we'll look up because we have it 1 to 9 there. So let's do that. Let's um, click in this cell right here. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Equals V lookup. And the value I want to look up is this, comma, the table I want to look up is this whole thing right here. So uh, F7 to H5, and then I'm going to hit F4 because I want to lock it when I go down. That's the table. right? VLOOKUP will take this, race down this first column, find the one, then go over to either the A or the B column. Comma. Now here's the trick, right? We want to uh, go get because this is the actual table here has one column, two column, three. If it's an A, we need to put a two here for column index. If it's a B, we need to put a three here. So watch this. Well, since we have the A and B are here, A and B here, and we have A or B here, we can actually um, do an if. If if, and the logical test is going to be, is this right here, one cell to my left, equal to, and I'm going to select this one. You could do it, you could start with either one, right? B. Now I need to lock that, so when I copy this down, it's always looking at that B, so I'm going to hit F4. Um, lots of people would uh, put this, right? I, I basically never do that. Anything that can change is put into a cell and in a form that you use a cell reference. That um, does not violate the original spirit of why Excel was created. So later, if you want Q and D here, you just put that. 
All right, so if that's if this cell is equal to B, what do we want? Hey, this is column, right? Because the VLOOKUP or this part of the VLOOKUP is for three or two, so we're going to put three other three otherwise two, right? So that delivers either a three or two. If it's B, the only other thing it could be is A, which means we want column two. All right, and then we put we got our VLOOKUP screen tip. Um, here, column index, so I'm going to type comma, and is this a, um, an approximate match? Is it an approximate match or an exact? Hey, this is an exact, so I'm going to put zero, close parentheses, and then I'm going to control enter. Now I can uh, copy this all the way down to there, but oh, wait a second, we, we need to um, turn the formula on and off if there's nothing here. So with this whole range highlighted right here, I'm going to very carefully in this active cell at the top hit F2. And then at the beginning, I'm going to say if uh, this cell right here, one cell to my left, equals and blank is double quote, double quote. That's the logical test. And then put a comma. If that's blank, then what do we want for the value of 2? If that's blank, we want double quote, double quote, blank comma. If it's false, which means it's not blank, then we put that thing right there, that VLOOKUP. Click at the end. Remember, it's usually safer to do it up in the uh, formula bar. Close parentheses. And then because I've highlighted all the cells and I want to repopulate it with this formula, I'm going to hold Control and tap Enter. So uh, I'm just going to copy this down to, to uh, oh, no, that didn't work. Oh, that's because I have pro ugh. Here, here's another trick. I'm going to highlight all of these, hit F2, and then Control Enter. So I got a bunch of Bs. So then we have all these. Now, the, the last little part to this cool trick is that we need to add a uh, formula down here at the bottom that will add up all the J's and C's. Now, we could use sum if, but I'm going to use an array formula with the uh, sum function because it's shorter and faster. Alt equals, and I'm going to say, is this whole range right here? locked equal to this one. Notice that's J, this is C, so that can be a relative cell reference. So as we copy down, it moves to C, right? Now, we actually, in this sum, we need to put parentheses around this series of true falses. I'm going to put a parentheses there and there. And you can actually highlight it if you don't believe it and hit F9 to see that it's a bunch of, oh, true, false, true, false, right? Control Z if you're going to do that. And then just times 1, because we need to convert those trues and falses to zeros and 1s. Uh, now, this is an array formula, so you have to hold Control and Shift, and then Enter. Control, Shift, Enter. And then copy it down one. So there you go. That's how to build a little questionnaire. We had some VLOOKUPs and some IFs and array formula data validation. All right, we'll see you next trick.